Hey guys, we're here at GDC with Curious Media and we're going to be checking out a new upcoming game called Fill the Pill. So, uh, let's see what Fill the Pill is all about. Alright, so, I'm Phil. The game may or may not be named after me. Uh, <laughs> this is Phil of Phil the Pill fame. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, so Phil the Pill is a, uh, it's a game about a, uh, a pill bug named Phil, uh, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, <laughs> and uh, it kind of uh, follows the, uh, the story of uh, his village um, called uh, Pillville. Okay. And uh, as they're, uh, let me just uh, get into the game here. Um, we're, we're about 80% done at this point. So okay. You'll, there's definitely... Uh, some uh, some some rough edges. Oh, that's but, uh, yeah. We've been seeing that part, all week. That's fine. <laughs> for the most part, the uh, the gameplay is, is getting pretty close. Cool. Um, and uh, so we'll just start out with one of the kind of tutorial levels. Okay. Um, it's uh it's all swipe based, um, swipe and tap based. Um, cool. And, uh, wherever Phil goes, uh, he rolls. Uh huh. And uh, so we just kind of give some tips um, that you kind of pick up over the first ten or so levels. Mm. Um, the object of the game is to save all your pill bug friends who are, uh, they're all scared mm -hmm. because um, Hank the Stank, a stink <laughs> bug, has come to town and just laid waste to Pillville. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the concept nice. is to go through, uh, save your pill bug friends, uh -huh. collect coins, uh, then you have the option to upgrade various elements of Phil. Um, you've got his shell, um, his uh, his fist, which makes him uh, punch through stuff faster, mm -hmm. and then his uh, his uh, speed you can upgrade. Um, so let's just go to a level that's got a little more, a little more going on. Yeah, we'll, we'll go through about three levels. They're pretty quick. Okay. Um, so in this level, you can see um, as soon as you stop, oh. you have the ability to. Uh, so we're picking this up, and we're going to pick up the pea shooter, uh, which helps you blast through this stuff a little faster. Oh, neat. And, uh, and if you notice down here at the bottom, you've got this creeping stench following you from uh. the stink uh, So if you get wrapped up in there, you're mm -hmm. going to see my health uh, deplete. Yes. As I... As you die. Die. <laughs> as you... You stink. <laughs> so, um, So that's cool. So you have, like, an, an impending threat. Constant right. threat coming after you. Yes, so okay. the object is to keep moving fast, but to collect as much as you can. Mm -hmm. um, you get three stars by getting, I believe it's 80% of the coins in mm -hmm. the level, um, as well as all the pill bugs, and making it to the uh, to the end. Okay. So you don't actually have to get every coin? You don't have to, no. And, and you don't even have to save everybody to move on. Uh -huh. If you want three stars, you've got to save these guys. Um, so we'll go up to a... Uh, a uh, level that shows some of the more uh, puzzle play aspects of it. Okay. Um, this level, you can see uh, you kind of have to uh, conserve your weapons. A mm -hmm. two-finger tap drops a bomb after you picked it up. Oh, neat. And uh, you can see that I dropped my bomb there, mm -hmm. and now this uh, the cinder blocks are... You can't pass them with uh, anything but the bomb. Oh. So I wasted my bombs. So, so now you're screwed. <laughs> So you kind of have to conserve your weapons and use them smartly. Uh, so you'll see, in this case, you really want to go down here and get this guy, but you really need to go up here and get this other bomb to yeah. do that. So oh, you got to be quick doing that, huh? Those. Right. And I may not be fast enough. Uh. And drop the bomb. Wow, you are living on the edge, man. Yes. You did it. <laughs> We're not gonna get those coins this time. <laughs> yeah, I smart move. So, so those um, spiky walls is that you have to turn in time, right? You can't just yeah, run into them. Or so if you uh, here, I'll show you what happens. If you run into those, ow, it hurts. Get hurt. Uh, yeah. It takes out a lot of your health. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. And uh, so the further you get along, the more complicated it gets. The bigger the puzzles are, the uh -huh. faster the stink moves. Oh okay. Uh, so it's really a great progression. I'll show you one more level. So the dancing um, pill bugs at the end is awesome. It should be. Uh, yeah. The uh, <laughs> once once we've got the game complete, when you save these guys, they're gonna yeah. stand up, do a little dance, and then fly up and show that you've uh, that you've saved them. So this is uh, one of my favorite levels right now. It's level 18. Oh wow! And, yeah, this uh, looks much more complex. You really have to. See, you can kind of do these predictive swipes. You can swipe before you get to the uh, to the wall um, to make sure you make it around the corner. Uh huh. And so let's say 
this guy. Drop a bomb. And the whole uh, kind of the, the story around the game is that uh, the Hank the Stank came to town. Mm -hmm. um, he's spreading his stench and uh, he's kind of really trashing out Bilbo. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's he's uh, stolen Prince Polycorn, who's a uh, rainbow segmented uh, Bilbo. Uh -huh. He's got a unicorn horn. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, and so, and he's actually kind of the whole uh, reason that he's done this mm -hmm. is because he's an avid bowler and he's uh, he's <laughs> he's flattened Polycorn Princess uh -huh. and uh, not not Princess Polycorn uh, Castle uh -huh. and he's uh, put up a, a Hank's bowling alley uh -huh. and uh, he's using all these scared pill bugs as bowling balls. That is so. awesome. <laughs> That's a good story. <laughs> yeah. So there's going to be a great intro and there'll be little animations uh, mm -hmm. throughout the game that kind of uh, go through the story. Cool. And uh, and just it's some really nice uh, animation. Every world is going to have a new theme. This one is kind of a uh, a toxic. Uh, this is kind of a toxic sludge theme. Yeah. Um, there's a uh, rotten candy world mm -hmm. um, where there's just all kinds of because the uh, the pillbugs love candy. That's kind of what mm -hmm. they live off of. And uh, without Princess Polycorn, they're fertilizing it there with their fer fairy dust. Uh, the candy's all rotting. And, oh bummer. Uh, so um, you'll see that in I think World Two or Three. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, there's going to be four worlds. And four worlds. Twenty-seven levels per world. Oh wow, um, a lot of levels. So yeah, cool. There's a, there's a lot of levels. Um, we've got a really great um, level creation tool that makes it really easy, and we may actually, at some point uh, we may release it to mm -hmm. uh, to let users create their own levels. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, with all the assets um, that you can see here. Yeah. Um, anyway, we're uh, we're planning on launching a Kickstarter campaign next week. Oh, cool. And uh, it's, like I said, it's about 85% done. We uh -huh. wanted to take that last 15%, get people's feedback, mm -hmm. try and incorporate it, and mm -hmm. let people kind of have put their mark on the game. And do you have, like, kind of a target date for it, or...? Yeah, right now our target is August. August? Which uh, is a pretty realistic timeline. Yeah. Um, I think it's possible that we'll that we'll hit before that, but mm -hmm. we just wanted to make sure we had enough time to really polish things up. Yeah, um, cool. And, uh... Yeah. Well, it looks really good so far. It looks like a lot of fun, and uh, the dancing pill bugs have me sold already. So, um, <laughs> Phil, thanks a lot for demoing it to us, and um, keep an eye out for Kickstarter to go live, what, next week? Yeah, next <clears throat> Monday or Tuesday. Next Monday or Tuesday, and then uh, hopefully later this year, August or so, we'll be playing Phil the Pill on, uh, on the App Store. Yes. Thanks a lot.